Hey, my name is Ivy, and let's get ready for a night out. I didn't actually go anywhere this evening, but I wanted to do my makeup as if I was going to go out because one must always be ready. And of course, I start with my typical brow routine. I spent a little extra time on my brows when I was doing my makeup. I really just wanted that perfectly imperfect undone look with them. But I always start with my Glossier Brow Flick, and then lately I have been pairing that with the Gen C uh, micro brow gel powder thing that's going over the top and then blending them together with the spoolie. It works really well. It gives me the look that I want. This is a secret, but soon not to be secret, skincare product that I've been using before makeup. It smells like Play-Doh, but in the best way. It makes my skin feel great. So I don't know how this happened, but I was using the Glossier Stretch Concealer all the time for a long time and then completely forgot about it and then recently rediscovered it and rediscovered how much I like it. I like it more as an all over base product, almost a bit more like I would use a foundation. I just kind of put it everywhere on my face and it feels really good. It gives you a, a just a beautiful skin like finish and it doesn't feel heavy at all. I paired that with the Make Beauty Skin Mimetic Concealer. I'm really enjoying this concealer. I love how light it is and how skin-like it is. I think I just need a slightly lighter shade. The one that I have, it works well, but I feel like I could benefit from a bit of a, a more of a brightening color under my eyes, and that's primarily where I use concealer, especially if I'm not dealing with any kind of hormonal acne. This time I decided to use a damp sponge just to blend it in all over my face and under my eyes, and it really does just end up feeling super natural and looking super natural. lip balm. Duh. So this is the 1999 Beauty Setting Powder. They recently released this. It feels so nice to apply. I actually am really impressed with the wear time on it as well. My skin only needs one little poof and then I'm good for the rest of the day. So I kind of powder it all over my face. I use the puff first and then I go back in with a big powder brush and blend everything in together. This is the Makeup by Mario bronzer. I've been using this most days to give me just like a little bit of that bronzed look around the edges of my face. Um, I love how seamless it is. I use it all the time. Of course, in watching this footage back, I'm thinking I could have done a slightly better job blending it out, but you know, sometimes the lights are bright, it's hard to see what you're doing, you just give it your best shot. This is my Vizart Mixed Palette. I've taken some shades out, I've moved some shades around, but this is what I wanted to use for my mattes as I start to build this eye look. So I went in with one of those like mid-tone warm browns and I'm just building out this sort of like shadow wing on the upper lid and then I'm going back in with a darker brown and kind of focusing that on the outer corner to really deepen the look. So I'm just deepening up that outer corner with that darker brown shade and just steadily kind of blending and building together. It's so my favorite thing to do is just take time when I have time to do my eye makeup. I did the most boring thing again. I did a halo eye. I'm sorry guys, I just can't, I can't stop myself from doing a halo eye. Diffusing the outer edges with a clean, probably somewhat dirty, but still relatively clean eyeshadow brush and just kind of smoking out up towards my eyebrow. And then I'm bringing that same warm brown shade underneath my lash line as well. I really wanted this whole look to just kind of be a typical smoky brown warm toned look. This is the kind of thing that I would wear most nights if I was going to go out. Something that feels very me. So here, this is Lithium by Urban Decay. It is one of their moon dust shadows. It is absolutely beautiful. It is this cool toned, sparkly, silver brown that 
really just, you can't argue with it. It is stunning. It has those kind of celestial-like sparkles in it that really just feel very, you know, ethereal as they kind of blend out over your eye. It has the most beautiful tones to it. I love the shadow and I love bringing it into pretty much any smoky look that I'm doing. It just is absolutely beautiful. This is Terra Moons Cosmetics Phoenix. And I was looking for an opportunity to pair warm and cool tones together. I saw this shadow from my shadows collection video that I did and I thought this would be perfect because it has that hot orange flip to it that's just so stunning. And I really felt like paired with the cool tones of lithium, it would just balance it out and just give it a little bit more of something special in the center of the eye. This is the Pat McGrath liquid liner that I'm using here, and I struggled with it a bit. I personally love the liquid liner pens that are from M Cosmetics. I ran out of them a while ago. I haven't repurchased them yet. And so I'm just using what I had lying around. And it's not that I couldn't do a wing. I obviously could, and I did, but this just dragged a bit more and didn't, you know, it just wasn't as easy to use. And those M Cosmetics ones are so, good and so easy the the brush tip ones they're they're amazing um but yeah i did a liquid line you can see of course i have to curl my lashes sorry if seeing people curl their lashes is not your favorite but i think it's important that you guys know that this is this is what i do i, I curl my lashes every single day before i put on mascara and then here I'm just using a sample size of the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. Still my absolute favorite mascara of the moment. I cannot put it down. I just really, really enjoy how it makes my lashes look. I decided I wanted to use the 1999 Beauty Lash Tint Mascara for my lower lashes. It always just makes them look exactly how I want them to, and it's such a tiny wand. It's so easy to use. I, I probably use it 50% of the time for my lower lashes. So then I went in with my beloved Phytosurgeon's Skin Spark Blush Bombs. I believe I used Fume and Smolder. I did a little bit of a combination of the two. I just, you know, I mean, I go back to these blushes over and over again. I, I know I feature them in so many videos at this point, but they are the most reliable and beautiful easy to use blushes you will ever find. I never, ever, ever have a problem with them. They just make me so happy. So yeah, I used Fume and then I decided to add a little bit of Smolder, which has an orangier tone to it on top, just to really pick up on the warm orange tones of the eye. And then I wanted to just make sure that I wasn't too shiny after adding all of those bombs to my face. So I'm powdering a little bit more with that 1999 Beauty powder, just in the areas that I know I'll have breakup first. Then I went in with Lustro, which is a highlighting pencil from 1999 Beauty, another favorite of mine. It's such a beautiful highlighter shade. I used it on the um, cheekbones here, but I've used it as an inner corner highlight before, sometimes a little bit on the tip of the nose or around the mouth. It's just perfect. And then another 1999 Beauty pencil, another favorite. This is Nutra and it is an ideal lip shade color for me. I love it. I wanted to use it this time as a liner just to give my lips a little bit more definition. Honestly, on most nights when I would go out, I would probably just wear a lip gloss or a lip balm. I wouldn't wear a bold lip, but you know, for fun, I decided to amp it up a bit and do a bit of a liner just again to make my lips look and feel fuller and then pair that with a lipstick over the top. So I used the Glossier Generation G in Fuzz. It's one of their newer shades. I, again, am, I'm, I'm just a big fan of the, the Generation G lipsticks. For me, I love that blotted lip look. And so they're really easy to wear. They're really comfortable. And I love the new shades that they came out with. So this is a, a go-to lip product of mine that I just reach for. I paired that with the Merit 
uh, lip oil in the shade Sangria. At this point, I just saw the look and felt like the lip needed a little bit of darkening to it, and I thought that Sangria would just add that touch of depth that it needed. It also made my lips feel nice and juicy over the top. Okay, that's it. That is the whole look. And honestly, this is exactly what I would wear on a typical night out. Just a little bit of sparkle, sorry, a lot of sparkle on the eyes. A nice lip, a little blush, and you're done. Thanks for watching.